Alright, in this video we're gonna check out Malboal, a little town on the west coast of Cebu Island. A lovely spot right in the middle of the Philippines. We're gonna go canyoneering, see the sardine run, talk about my diving accident and then explore Malboal town. It's gonna be fun, so let's dig in. Feel nervous? A little bit. We're doing canyoneering. <laughs> it was just on the zip line, which was really good, really fun. Uh, now we're gonna go hiking and gonna go through the waterfalls, uh, canyoneering. Um, should be fun, should be extreme. Quite excited. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three, jump! Here comes the five meter jump. Yeah, I've got it. The funny thing, I'm afraid of height. One, two, three. Canyoneering was really cool. Well, much better than my experience in Oslo with uh, whale shark swimming. You'll see the link to this video in the description below. With canyoneering, I had serious doubts about it because I wear contact lenses and I was very concerned about water getting into my eyes. But it was fine. I just closed my eyes, wiped the water off my face and that would do the trick. Another concern was my fear of heights and canyoneering is all about jumping from different altitudes. But somehow I loved it too. I think the key to success was that the jumps increase in height gradually. I think I just got used to risking my life and the fear passed away naturally. Overall I had a blast. Much more fun than my friend Sophia, who didn't really enjoy water constantly getting into her nose. In the end it was just me jumping off cliffs non-stop, while she was more into soaking up the vibes and the environment. This was definitely one of the highlights of my holiday in the Philippines. So if you're in the Cebu area, don't miss it. One more thing to add, it's surprisingly well organized. The two of us had a tour guide who followed us every step of the way. He was actually pretty good at filming and helped record most of this experience. So yeah, loads of fun, great experience. Uh, do not miss it if you happen to be in Boal Boal. 
Another thing Mobile is famous for its sardine run. It's a natural phenomenon where thousands and thousands of sardines swim along the coast to feed on plankton. It's a great spectacle and the best part is that you don't need to be good at diving or snorkeling, you can see them just 15 meters away from the beach. Moabual is situated right next to a sea wall and about 20 meters from the shore the seabed drops sharply to a depth of over 50-60 meters. This creates an amazing natural environment for corals, sardines and turtles, so swimming there is definitely a unique experience. There is one more thing that I did in Moabual, I went diving and it was quite extreme. I nearly drowned and I'm not exaggerating or being dramatic, um, here's what happened. I'm not a very experienced diver, but at that time I had only done three dives, so I wasn't feeling very confident. And if you're diving and aren't very confident, you can get a little nervous. And if you get nervous, you tend to breathe a little bit faster. You see where this is going, right? So we were doing our first dive and things were going relatively smoothly, but at some point I noticed my tank was only half full. I signaled this to the dive master and he showed his assistant that I needed to head back. So we did, but probably too slowly. As we were heading up, my tank was depleting faster and faster. As we were approaching the safety spot, I realized it was getting harder to breathe. Every breath required more and more effort. I checked my gauge and it showed about 30 bar. And then realized I didn't have much air left. Luckily, my dive buddy was right in front of me. I grabbed his foot and pulled myself toward him. He looked startled, but I showed him the sign I was taught in the diving school, the one that I was hoping I would never ever have to use in real life. This means that I have no air, and that he has to give me his second regulator. And uh, luckily he understood, and he immediately gave his uh, spare regulator, and that basically saved me. We waited for a bit, then surfaced. The story sounds terrifying and honestly I still don't know how I managed to stay calm and not panic. I guess it was the training I got in Kotao. Uh, there I learned to dive with the Roctopus Diving School. We actually practiced this exact scenario during our lessons, so I suppose that helped. The funny thing is that I had paid for two dives, so guess what I did afterward? Yep, we went back to Moabual for the second dive. And honestly, I, I'm glad I did it. When something scary like that happened, it's good to give the activity another try so that the negative experience doesn't stick in your head. And uh, so I did. The second dive was much better. Nothing went wrong and I had a great time. But yeah, that first dive uh, was scary and gave me a solid reminder that all those safety protocols are there for a good reason. They always say that diving is safe, it's a recreational sport and usually nothing happens and yeah, usually it's all fine. But sometimes things can go wrong, so it's always better be prepared. Between canyoneering and diving, we also had some time to explore Moabual. It's a lovely place with amazing views, great food options and some of the best sunsets I've seen. The beach isn't ideal though, apparently a super typhoon Rai hit Cebu in 2013 and pulled most of the sand back into the sea. So the beach now is quite rocky and not very appealing, but don't let that put you off. It's definitely worth a swim, or two, or even three. After swimming you can chill in one of the Moabual's many restaurants or bars. There is a huge variety to choose from, including some really nice coffee spots. Moabual was quite the experience, uh, probably the most memorable place in the whole of Cebu, full of adventures and extreme activities. It's a bit risky, but definitely worth a try. I really loved it, it was fun and uh, quite unexpected. I think this is the type of experience you would want to miss. Well, not the scuba diving accidents, these don't happen very often. Well, also trip to Moalboal was great comparing to my rather average experience in Oslo, where we watched the whale sharks, don't miss the video, so you know what happened there. But for now this will do. Um, thanks all for watching, I hope you liked this video. Moalboal, yeah, was uh, something special and I really hope that you'll get a chance to go there too. Be careful, yeah, things can be a little bit, you know, tricky, but most of the time you'll be totally fine, I'm sure. 
So yeah, uh, as usual, please uh, like, subscribe, tell me what you think about this video. Did uh, you like it? Would you like to go to mobile? Have you ever been there? Please do share. Uh, I love to hear your opinions. But for now, this will do. Bye and see you soon.